David Wheeler with New Green Media. We have a developing story at the Raritan Bayfront in New York Harbor, where a team of US EPA scuba divers is going underwater to explore the Raritan Bay slag site, one of America's newest proposed Superfund sites. Toxic lead slag has been found at a number of fishing and crab hotspots across the Raritan Bayfront. We're going to go see what's happening right now. I'm Bob Spiegel with Gettison Wetlands, and we're down here in Old Bridge, where large amounts of toxic lead slag were put along the waterfront over here. And as you can see, these areas, these, these are, look at the bottom of kettles. All the way out there, you have another one, and all the way out in the water, you have another one. What level of lead is, is necessary, and how much time in a child's body for there to be an adverse effect? There's no safe level of lead in a child's body. I don't recommend that you consume this shellfish. And we have great concern as the Toxics and Biota Committee about the recreational fishermen, about the recreational crabber. This has been going on since 1999, people fishing here. I mean, that's how long I've been here, but there's always been people fishing here. Uh, families bring their kids to the playground. I see people swimming in the water over here. Now you're gonna tell us like uh, going in, uh, diving into a toxic dump site. Who's responsible? They've been out here for the last uh, several days. They've been doing um, uh, bottom contouring of along the uh, entire river, I mean the uh, shoreline here, as well as throughout the inlet, um, looking for depressions where any kind of material may tend to accumulate, as well as um, try to identify reference points that we can sample um, in the future. They're going to be doing more um, bottom contouring further out into the bay itself that will aid in developing a sampling plan down the road. Just focus on trying to prioritize the, uh, the sites that present the, the biggest health risk. And right now, that's right here at uh, you know, Old Bridge. The signage up now with phone numbers on it. There will be signage uh, posting um, warnings for fish, the fish advisors that exist right now. The EP has been very supportive all along of the EPA involvement to uh, garner federal support and especially federal money to get this site cleaned up. This is going to be a very expensive site and if the potential responsible parties don't act and step forward to clean up the site, then it's going to fall on the taxpayers with public funds to fund this. Site. I think it's very important um, that the EPA take action now to remove the readily accessible materials and get it off the beach. The concern is exposure to people contacting that material. Well, the best way to do that is to eliminate the material. It's clear that a fence is not going to keep them off. And so if you take the material away, then, then that concern becomes eliminated. Five to ten years is too long a time frame. Let's be real. It's not, it's not going to be 10 or 20 million. It's going to be a couple of hundred million to clean it all up. And that money has to come from somewhere. And they have all the money in the world when it comes to building bonds or bailing out banks. They should, the federal government should put the money where it belongs. Right here, right now. A series of public meetings has taken place and more are being scheduled now by both the U.S. EPA and advocacy groups such as New York, New Jersey Baykeeper and Edison Wetlands Association. If you are a resident or a visitor who is concerned about the impacts, please check out the website of edisonwetlands.org for more information. Signing off for New Green Media, I'm David Wheeler.